Welcome to another instalment of Dynamic Duos on Boss United FM, a football manager experiment where we place two of the best players in the world into the squad of Conference Northside Boston United. In this video, we look at how Liverpool pairing Virgil van Dijk and Mo Salah get on in Tier 6 of English football. OK, we've come to June 2021, a couple of years into the game. Let's have a look. So Boston are in the National League, but it looks like they've just been relegated. Let's just have a quick look at that league table. And they've only scored 42 goals, conceded 78. If we go into their squad, let's just have a look down. Right, it looks like neither Van Dijk or Salah are still there. So presumably they've sold them there on three-year contracts, which does mean they'll be able to sell them for pretty much big money in the first couple of seasons. If we go to the transfer history, and there we go, transfers out in July 2020. So they only lasted a season, that one season where they obviously got promoted, but they've received 14.75 million for Virgil van Dijk. Let's have a look and see where he's gone. It's Atletico Madrid, where he's had a pretty solid season. In that first season in Conference North, there we go. 10 assists, 8 goals, average rating of 7.87. That's pretty spectacular for a central defender. And he's gone to Madrid and not really been as good, but that's pretty much expected. If we look at Madrid themselves, have a look at their schedule. What have they done this year? And they've actually won the Champions League. And there we go, there's there's Van Dijk with the assist in the final. And actually, Mo Salah is with him, playing on the right wing, in the same team. Beating Barcelona, they're Spanish rivals. Griezmann scoring a goal for Barcelona, getting man of the match, but it wasn't enough. An 89th minute winner by Thomas Lamar. Not your typical Simeone tight game, the 3-2. Let's just check to make sure that Simeone's still there. Yes, he is. So Van Dijk's done pretty well out of it. Bit of a low fee, to be fair. Especially if we look and Mo Salah has actually gone for 50 million. Over three times the amount that Van Dijk went for. So if we check Salah... And he's had a bit of a disappointing season, to be fair. Just the four league goals, but I think with Madrid's 4-4-2, he doesn't really fit in. He's probably not going to play as a striker too much. And he's going to play more as that, that midfield right position, which is not his position really in a 4-4-2, especially being left-footed. Looks like Egypt might be playing more to his strengths because he has scored 16 goals in 12 games for them and scored five Champions League goals on their way to winning the competition. And there we have it, just the five assists and two man of the matches and an average rating that was still pretty good, so he's still being effective on the pitch, but just not in terms of goals and assists. Right, let's just check out how Boston have done. So there's their 23rd position. But what we need to do is just check Conference North from the year before. If we check the league table, and there we go. They've won it by four points. Seven losses out of the 42 games. Pretty good goal scoring record and a fantastic defensive record with Van Dijk being the rock at the back, presumably. Goal difference of 47. And then Kidderminster being promoted alongside them. Being quite a way behind Spennymore, who finished second. And then we go back to just check on that playoff final. And there we have it, Kidderminster beating Fastly in the final. Let's go back to Boston. Let's just check the results from that first year. We'll just scroll down. So there's a very bad start, not winning any games in the first four. Started to score a few goals. If we just check, there were Van Dijk and Salah scoring there. Van Dijk again. It does look to be that he's started off the season in top goal scoring form. Whether he's 
scoring those from corners or whether you don't know he might even be pushed up front a very very good october just the defeat in the fa cup there november the opposite going out of the trophy as well took it minster and then a pretty good end to the season a pretty good second half of the season if you check from basically from december onwards just the the two league defeats which has then seen them secure the league winning it by four points winning those last three games has definitely secured it if we move on to this current season that's just finished another bad start just the one win in what seemed like ages second win only coming in october little mini run but then again without a league win for a long long time until winning away at Billericay in February just a couple of wins towards the end in April it's the end of the season with what, one defeat in five but nowhere near good enough 32 points 13 points adrift of Eastleigh in 20th position but presumably they've got money to spend they are finances rich they're just not spending it Look, does look like they've got rid of Craig Elliott as the manager. Let's just have a quick check of that. So, Elliott lasted until at the end of August 2023. He didn't even last the first month of the season in the second season. Replaced by David Dunn, the former Premier League player who played for Birmingham and Blackburn. He only lasted 85 days. He was appointed in September... And he didn't even last till the end of the year. He left the first day of December. Let's have a quick look at his reign. So that was this season. So Elliot got dismissed at the end of August where they'd won one game from the first seven. David Dunn took over for the Barrow game. Got through in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. But then got sacked after a 4-0 home defeat to Sutton. So he only won one league game as well. So in that first half of the season, they basically had as many managers as they did league wins. Which you can see why the chairman has got a little bit trigger happy. If we look at the landmarks. So there's the champions and promotion on the 25th of April. Mo Salah was then appointed captain just days before being sold. The move to the new stadium as expected. Paul Turnbull appointed as captain, midfielder. Then they got relegated, but then after being relegated, have turned professional. So is this the year where maybe they spend a bit of money and bump up the leagues? Because they've definitely got the finances behind them. They've got the new stadium. They just need, hopefully... A decent manager in Dara Tuffy. Let's just see where he's been. He was at Blackburn as a player. Same as David Dunn. And this is his first managerial job. But couldn't keep them up. Bit of a mixed one for Boss United. Winning the league first season. Bringing in the money through Salah and Van Dijk. Who've then gone on to win the Champions League with Atletico Madrid. At the same time, Boston have been relegated back to Vanarama North. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much for watching.